Most teenagers use technology every day. Even I'm guilty of it. Our eyes are constantly glued to our phones, tablets, or laptops, shopping online, or using social media sites. Some of us are even addicted to our PS3s or Xboxes. It's mind-numbing. Usually when we think about being addicted to technology, we think about how we see people texting and calling at all hours of the day. Their phone's never more than a foot away. We usually think about how people are addicted to technology for personal use. We never think about how we can be addicted to it for school-related reasons. Schools are on the fast track to making technology addiction a problem for today's generation, or at least contributing to the issue. Schools overuse technology. I have outlined three main reasons why that prove that schools really do overuse technology. These supporting ideas are, first, technology isn't always necessary. Second, schools shouldn't encourage such, such heavy technology use. And third, technology is contributing to obesity. Like I mentioned, sc schools overuse technology for a number of reasons. However, first I would like to discuss whether or not technology is always necessary. Technology isn't always necessary. I've been in high school for four years now, and during that time, my school has issued every high school student a laptop at the beginning of each year. Computers can be super nice to have during school. It makes it easy to check emails, send assignments, and do homework that requires research. However, my teachers have been taking it to the next level. We use them for nearly every single assignment. The downfall of this is that my computer's battery, battery constantly dies at school because it never gets a break. Also, computer malfunctions cause me to lose my work and staring at a screen all day can make, me, make your eyes tired. Every essay, essay is written online some science labs are now done virtually, and worksheets almost always require online research. These are some of the most common things that, or web quests are some of the most common things that my teachers assign. Writing things on paper and doing physical worksheets is what helps me learn, just like a lot of other students that I talk to. Sometimes computers allow students to learn more than what can be taught in the classroom, but sometimes they are used frivolously out of laziness and ease. Computers aren't necessary for many assignments, and teachers should not overuse their access to technology. According to a 2014 article written by Jan Brusert and her colleagues and published by the Delta Kappa Gamma Bulletin, my school isn't the only school that relies heavily on technology for education. The article discusses how students in Louisiana felt about being issued a school tablet to be used in class. Though some of the students liked having a tablet, others were skeptical. I think they're onto something. Some of the things they disliked included technical problems, less challenging courses, and distractions. These are some of the reasons that technology should not be used so heavily in schools. Using computers would not necessarily waste students' time. Students can learn just as well, if not better, without using computers so much. Technology is a great tool for learning. It opens up new doors and ways of learning, but schools shouldn't encourage such heavy computer use. To review my first main point, Schools overuse technology because technology is not always necessary. My second main point is that schools shouldn't encourage heavy computer use. A 2005 article written by David or Brian David and Peter Weimer Hastings and published by Cyber Psychology and Behavior discusses surveys regarding technology use and addiction. These surveys show that it's easy and common to be addicted to technology, especially things like email, chat sites, and the internet. Schools usually give their students email addresses and internet access, which are to be used for school-related purposes. These tools are great for students and teachers to use, and they're really helpful, but teachers shouldn't require technology used to, for every assignment given. At school, I personally witness my classmates abusing their laptop privileges all the time. They use, they use their computers to play games during class. Lots of them don't pay attention in class because their laptops are such a huge distraction to them. Games, the internet, and other homework get priority over notes quite often. It's disrespectful to the teachers and doesn't help the students learn either. Schools are to blame for this, though. If they didn't insist on using technology all the time, students wouldn't need laptops. Therefore, they would stay on task. Again, technology is a great learning tool, but are schools really going about using it the right way? You can see that schools clearly overuse technology. In review, schools should not encourage heavy computer use. I personally think that we should be doing something different. Just think, in schools encouraging constant computer use could be affecting the health of our nation's youth. How you ask? Through obesity, which is my third main point. Technology is contributing to obesity. 
My school, like many others, tries to combat obesity by reducing portion, si portion sizes during lunch and taking sugary snacks out of the vending machines. They think they're doing something good, but allowing students to become addicted to technology cancels out the good that they're doing by encouraging us to eat healthy. Heavy technology use can contribute to obesity. According to a 2014 article written by Jean Cowie and published by Primary Healthcare, obesity has traditionally been a problem seen in adults. But during the past 30 years, obesity has been affecting children more than ever before. Cowie says that obesity is caused by laziness and poor diet. For example, children have been spending more time inside watching TV, playing video games, or surfing the web than ever before. These bad habits combined with a poorly balanced diet full of sugar and fat has played a huge part in childhood obesity. School's technology use is affecting the health of America's children. Again, my third reason why schools should not overuse technology is because technology is contributing to obesity. Technology use in schools is clearly becoming an issue that needs to be addressed. Schools overuse technology. The three reasons I have outlined are the three biggest reasons why we should stand up against heavy computer use. To recap, the three main points that I have chosen to address are number one, technology isn't always necessary, number two, schools shouldn't encourage heavy computer use, and number three, technology is contributing to obesity. I think it's clear. Schools overuse technology. Stand up against this generation's bad habits. All you parents out there, I encourage you to take a, a stand by attending school board meetings and making your voice heard. Students, I ask you to talk to your principals or deans and let them know what's on your mind. And also talk to your fellow classmates so they know about the issue. Everyone go out there and do your research and make a difference like I know you can.